Hey guys, Jamin here bringing another do-it-yourself computer video working on a Toshiba Chromebook 2 uh, CB30 series, full model number CB30 B3122. I'm uh, going to show you how to get in here today, sw swap out your battery, and uh, as long as we're in there, the second half of the video will show you how to swap out your motherboard. Uh, so as always, if you have any questions, check out the frequently asked questions in the, in the description. Uh, they can save you some time. If you don't see your question there, uh, feel free to leave a comment. And we do try to get back to you a couple times a day at least. So first thing you want to do is flip your computer over, start taking out the screws to the bottom case. Uh, keep in mind that in a lot of Chromebooks, they do hide screws under the rubber feet on the bottom. This happens to be one of the models where they have done that. Um, so I've already been in here, so I'll show you where they are. They're only in the bottom feet. But in your computer, uh, check all of them to make sure. Got a little flathead screwdriver here, so I'm going to open up the bottom feet, and you can see the screws in there. So Again, check yours for those screws, because if you don't get them, you're probably going to break something when you go to take this thing off. So. Alright, so after your screws are out, got my little flat metal pry tool here. Going to go under the bottom case and pop this thing off. There's your uh, battery right there. I'll zoom in on that for you. Held on by four screws, so we'll go ahead and take those out. Keeping these separate from our other screws, they're not the same size as your bottom case screws. Alright, now I'm going to zoom in on the battery port so you can see how we're going to unplug this. When you're unplugging something, resist the urge to grab the wires and just pull, because if you do that, you're probably going to pull the wires right out of the port. Um, what I do with these is I just put a fingernail on either side and just wiggle it until it comes out, just like that. And there's your port, or there's your uh, connector, but you don't want to pull on the wire. So slide the battery out. Be careful the speaker wires run over it. So there's your battery. All right. Now as far as the motherboard for the second half of the video, it's a little more extensive. You gotta unplug everything that's plugged into it. So you gotta go around and make sure you get everything. So first of all, we have your, um, I believe this is going to your keyboard and the ribbon cable is there. Let's zoom in on that port because that's a pretty common motherboard connection. We'll show you how to safely remove that ribbon cable. There's a plastic flap here that goes, that snaps down to secure and folds up to release. So we're gonna take a little plastic pry tool, pop that up, slide the ribbon cable out, and then I'm gonna put that back down to secure it, to keep it safe. Uh, those things are very breakable. You're probably never gonna be able to find a replacement if you break it. Um, and even if you do find a replacement, most likely you'll break it when you're installing it. So really try not to break those things. There's another one similar right there, that's to your touchpad. Pull that ribbon cable out. Under this tape here, we'll take that off. Uh, this is the cable to your speakers. Pull that right out. There you go. Uh, what else we got? We got your antenna wire coming down here from the LCD assembly. Unstick these things, tape everywhere in this model. More tape here. Let's get that tape off. So the wire, the Wi-Fi card, the wire, the, the Wi-Fi card screwed in. It's gonna unscrew that. And the Wi-Fi card pulls right out. There you go. Over here, you have your power jack. So I'll wiggle that out same way. Pain in the butt. Where's my flathead? Sometimes they can be a pain to get out. Uh, your LCD cables here underneath this piece of tape again. A lot of tape in this model. So same kind of connection we saw before. So we're going to pop that up. Slide this cable out. Pop that back down. Uh, and then I think last but not least we have this board plugging in here. So there's not a lot of give there. So I'm going to actually un unscrew this board. Um, and then I can pop this up and slide this out that way. 
So I'm pretty sure we have everything. Now we just gotta unscrew the motherboard. When you're going to screw the motherboard back in, um, the screws that you need to put back in will have little white arrows next to them. Kind of a little nice way they do this so you can know which screws are needed. It's also a good idea to take a picture with a smartphone if you can't remember where the screws are. Now I think I have all of them. I don't think I need to take off the screws for the heatsink assembly, but let's see. Oh, maybe I do. Okay. So we'll go around and we'll take out these screws that are holding your heatsink down. Quite a lot of those. Alright, now I think we have everything. Okay, we're still stuck on something here. There we go. Oh, and I missed the little plug-in right there, so I'll unplug that. Again, by the port, not by the wire. Yeah. There you go. So there's your motherboard. Heatsink just came off because I un un uh, unscrewed it. But that's how you would get your motherboard out. So there. So that video, the first half was the battery, second half was the motherboard. Again, any questions, any comments, anything trippy up, uh, leave us a question in the description. We'll get back to you. Uh, please like and share if this is helpful. Thank you so much for watching.